Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a little bit of a taste test of things that I bought this past week. Um, did go to a Cracker Barrel. There's their little symbol thing if you can see it. Uh, Cracker Barrel is an American sort of institution. Uh, I live close to the interstate system, close to an exit, so there's a Cracker Barrel there. It happens about every 20 miles or so, at least on interstates around here, you're going to find a Cracker Barrel. So, if you've never been to one, it's an experience. Stop in. It's kind of cool. Um, I am going to today, I found one of these cool sodas. It was on a display. Oh So Key Lime by Oh So Good. And this is one of those that's made with pure cane sugar. So, yes. Now, um, it's like an Oh Key Lime. I love key lime. Key lime, I love key lime pies made with real key lime, not actual regular lime juice, because that is a different animal. Now, let's see, this is not a twist open. So, all right. Smells limey, not necessarily like key lime, but that's okay. And it's very green. Oh, I like it. Mm. That is nice. Okay, that is super nice. It's not sharp in the bubbles. And it tastes nice and limey. It doesn't taste lemon limey. It does taste limey. Which is a good thing. It's what it's supposed to be. Very refreshing. Very sugary, but very refreshing. There you go. Now going in a completely different direction we have just finished the easter holiday so there are peeps there are still peeps peeps are eternal i don't think peeps ever go bad they are just peeps uh where did i put my scissors there they are Let's open these bad boys up these are the caramel mocha original donut chef coffee peeps and they're filled and one of them is sideways he was trying to get away i think and he got a little excited so i'm going to take him here you can have the others there's chocolate on the bottom so it's not a completely soft squishy peep i do smell coffee okay mm. There's a little bit of gooey filling in there. Not that a marshmallow needed any extra zhuzhing. I mean, come on. Mmm. That's pretty good. I'm not mad at it at all. That's pretty good. Mmm. You get a little bit of the caramel mocha flavor without it being in your face coffee because peeps are very very sweet so you still have the very sweet of the peep okay I think I sipped my tea from earlier now I'm gonna try another one because why not get the sugar rush of the century while I'm sitting here recording a video hello Oh, and you get four of these little guys. And they're cute. Little Peeps bunnies. And they got purple sparkles on them. Get out of here, you old dude. Oh, they smell really fruity. Here, smell the bunny butt. It's, <laughs> it smells really fruity. When you eat a chocolate bunny or something, do you start with the ears or do you start with the butt? I start with the ears. I don't want them to hear me talking about them. Hmm. It is very fruity. Wild berry. I don't know what wild berry means, but it's berry fruity. That kind of like that. It says sparkly or sp yeah, sparkly wild berry. It is a sparkly bunny, 
I mean, it's got little sparkles on it. And it almost tastes sparkly. No, not like Pop Rock sparkly, but it just has a little bit of almost an effervescent feeling when you're eating it without being really bubbly. But I like these. I like these better than the coffee ones, quite honestly, because I love berry flavors. Hmm. Okay. Definitely not mad at it. Is this something I would eat all the time? No, I shouldn't have even had, you know, one of each of these today because they're a bit much, but that wasn't bad. Regular peeps, I can totally do without. They're like, it's just a blob of marshmallow to me, um, which I mean, marshmallow is fine, but it isn't the be all end all. But when they do these special things to them, totally not bad. I'm, this was very nicely done. The hot tamales one were very good. Check my review from last week. Um, I was pleasantly surprised at that and I actually wanted more cinnamon flavor out of it. But these were definitely worth a go. Can you hand me that again? And this, oh my gosh, I love key lime. Out of practice, haven't tried to play the flute in many years. That is quite refreshing. Mmm. Oh, so key lime. Oh, so I have no idea what actual brand put this out, but yeah, I think they should continue to put out soda, whoever they are, and maybe market it better instead of just putting it into, you know, cracker barrels, because that is quite tasty. So what do you think of Peeps? Are Peeps a total no-go for you across the board? I thought they were for me and I started trying some of their other flavors and going, okay, for a treat every now and then, yeah, it's kind of fun to give them a try. Oh, and there is one more Peep here to try. It is a uh, singular Peep. I don't know why it's called Peeps when there's only one. That's kind of weird. But uh, we're gonna bust into this bad boy. Oh, it is chocolate covered. They have smothered this little peep in chocolate. What a way to go. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. That's nothing but regular peep covered in chocolate. That's it. The other ones with the different flavor profiles are definitely better. I mean, chocolate doesn't suck, but that's just chocolate and peep marshmallow. At least the other one has some coffee to it <clears throat> or some sparkly berry to it. Out of the three peeps flavors today, this is my least favorite with chocolate. And that should be saying something because I love chocolate. My favorite is actually probably this one. The sparkly one, because I love fruity colors, colors, flavors, hello. And right in the middle, doesn't suck, but it wasn't the winner to me, is this guy here, the uh, Filled Delights. They could probably put this one out all year round and totally sell it, I think. They're that good. But everything else, meh. But this, oh yeah, this wins. Pretty much fat chick approved. I mean, they'll make a chick fat like me, but you know, sugar, hello. Mm. That is so good. Mm. So have you ever been to Cracker Barrel? If not, why not? You just not live near one, not have an opportunity. Yeah, the food is, it's okay. It's nothing to write home about. I, if I have a craving for pancakes, I generally go there because I don't live near an IHOP, International House of Pancakes. Um, and they put out a pretty good pancake, you know, platter. Sometimes you just need pancakes. If you know, you know, okay? 
um, everything else there is, it's okay. Like I said, nothing to write home about. Their little gift shop, though, is kind of cute. And when you find stuff on clearance, that's when you buy it. Because otherwise, it's kind of overpriced. But it's fun to look around and see what they have. But that's just me. It's only four and a half miles from my house. So, there you go. Anyhow, I do thank you for coming by and sitting with me on this taste test today. And seeing what in the world I got and how it all tasted. Um, have some peeps. They're probably half price now or less. Now's the time to get them. <laughs> See y'all soon. Bye now.